what if I tell you that you need a doctor and suddenly you transform into a doctor? Then next minute you need an engineer and you shape shift into an engineer, right? So basically you can transform, like transformer, right? Basically, it's a daunting task in the real world. But when it comes to a, the basic bodily function, that is a cell, there is a cell which can do all of this. It can transform into any cell of your body. And popularly, it is called as stem cells. Stem cells are of various types. Some of them are embryonic stem cells, adult stem cells, and induced pluripotent stem cells. Now, these stem cells can differentiate. They can differentiate into different types of cells. So they have regeneration capacity. They have pluripotency. And then they have self-renewal ability. This is something which makes stem cells the superhero of your body. And scientists have been working in the last 20 years now trying to decode the stem cell power and potential. And finally now with the advent of bioinformatics, AI and ML, it is possible. So what exactly stem cells can do if we are able to do? Number one is tissue regeneration. We can generate a damaged tissue. You got injured, we can repair that. The second is drug development. We can use stem cells to develop an organ and then test the drug on that. We don't need animal testing and then we can get better results. And the third will be biomedical research. Stem cells serve as a valuable tool for studying disease mechanism, enabling researchers to better understand and potentially find cures to complex diseases such as cancer. So that means stem cells are going to be here for a long time. A lot of companies, a lot of governments are doing research on stem cells. In fact, even the defense is doing research on stem cells because if there is an injury to an army person, they can repair them faster, right? Imagine that's like a game changer. Now, let us talk about what exactly stem cells can do for us. But stem cells currently can give us life-changing results. Stem cells can contribute towards tissue engineering, tissue regeneration. And of course, if you have the right infrastructure, you will be able to explore and exploit the therapeutic potential of stem cells. You will be able to develop regenerative medicine and you will be able to do disease modeling and, and you will be able to contribute towards advancing the drug disease and development. If that all has to happen, then as a student, you will be like, where exactly I can learn all of this because I'm so excited. I like stem cells. I want to do research on stem cells. Then you have, you should know this. This is like exclusive information. Asia's first, Asia's best college for stem cells. That is Manipal Institute of Regenerative Medicine. It is right here in Bangalore, okay, where I am. And I personally know Dr. Jyoti and her team. So I can help you get placed into this college. You can learn, you can do your master's into this college. It is very difficult to actually get into this college because there are thousands of people who apply and only 20 people get selected. So it's very important to apply early. The applications are open right now. The link is in the description. And then you can work there. You can, uh, the first year will be all theory. And of course, they will give you one mini project and one mega project in the second year. So they will first train you and then, then you will get ex research exposure and experience and then they will provide you placement assistance. So MIRM, I've been to their campus. It's an amazing campus. You get exposure to so many amazing scientists and professionals in the stem cell uh, industry. And of course, they keep inviting a lot of researchers from IISC, which is just nearby. And uh, Manipal itself has got so many research uh, projects going on. They will invite scientists from there, stemputics. So all of this is happening in MIRM, which is Manipal Institute of Regenerative Medicine. All the details of your their MSc course is given in the description. They also have a PG diploma course for students who have passed their master's. They want to still do their research work in stem cells. They can apply there. And if you are a master's student, you want to apply for a PhD there, even that is possible through your CSIR net. And also, if you are outside of India, you want to apply there, that also you can do. So, MIRM is a great place to be in. And if you want to exploit the future potential of stem cells, like I said, it has got therapeutic potential, it has got regenerative medicine potential and disease modeling potential. These three areas you can work upon in MIRM. Bangalore. So that's all for this video. Let me know in the comment section if you are interested. If you want to learn more details, uh, you can download uh, a PowerPoint which uh, I have created for this particular topic. You can download it. The password of this PowerPoint is Biotechnica is the best and uh, without any spaces. And uh, of course, I will see you soon in the next video. Till then, keep shining. Bye-bye.